What's up everybody, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Siemens Gamesa, a company traded at the Spanish stock market, which BlackRock has recently taken a 3% stake in. By looking into the, their 2020 performance, we'll try to come up with whether BlackRock's investment is genius or madness. Siemens Gamesa is part of the wind power sector. For those who don't know, the wind power sector belongs to the renewable energy industry. The sector has seen a demand for lower prices, pushing the companies to pursue mergers and acquisitions in order to secure their future existence. Proof of that is that the top six performers in the market are holding 75% of the market share and the top 10 are holding almost 85% of the market share. Siemens Gamesa is a company created back in 2017 by two players of the market. On one hand, Gamesa and its expertise on onshore turbines. And on the other hand, Siemens Wind Power Division, whose expertise is on the offshore market. The merger resulted in 59% stake held by Siemens and the 41% left held by Gamesa. 33% was free float and 8% was held by Iberdrola. The company has three streamlines of revenue, onshore, offshore and services. The company started the year at a price a bit lower than 16 euros per share. At the beginning of February, the company announces that it had reached an agreement with Iberdrola to buy their 8% stake in the company for a price tag of 20 euros per share. The deal amounted a total of 1.1 billion euros. And it included a clause that Iberdrola would stop any lawsuit going among the companies. And then COVID-19 happened. The company saw a 30% dip in the market, while the Spanish stock market saw a 40% dip. Just a week after, its CFO David Messonero announces that he's going to leave the company at the end of the month just to join Iberdrola on April. The company announces a second quarter net loss of 165 million euros and a total semester net loss of 339 million euros. Nevertheless, the company slowly climbs back up until the following happened. Instead of smashing the like button, as you should be doing if you're liking this video, the company decides to fire its CEO, Marcus Tacke, and the company loses more than a 7% in a day. The firing was a result of the negative results and the fact that under Marcus Tacke's wing, the, the company never outperformed Vestas. As his replacement, they announced Andreas Neuen, its offshore CEO, and the company starts to recover strength and it starts to become the hedge stock against the index. While EVEX 35 in June, by June almost regained half of its losses from the lockdown, it started to lose some power while Siemens Gamesa was gaining some. Even after posting a net loss for the third quarter of 466 million euros, that's 3x the amount of the previous quarters. The investors keep dumping their money into the stock. Siemens Gamesa does not share its hedge stock title with anyone else until Pharmamar, a pharmaceutical company, joins the Spanish index on September the 19th and Solaria, a renewable energy company, on October the 21st. 
while the index was seen at its lowest point since May. However, the vaccine results announced on November the 9th saw the rise of the index once more, while the hedge stocks besides PharmaMar did not plunge. Later on that week, it was announced that BlackRock had a 3% stake in Siemens Gamesa, which was weird to me, since the company saw an 80% rise over the year and its highest point in history. So it begs the question of this video. Is BlackRock's move genius or madness? If we take a look at the performance of the stock since BlackRock's declared position, the stock has risen more than 8%, surpassing the 30 euro per share press tag. Its highest point of Gamesas since 2008. And while we can see that Siemens Gamesa and Vestas has performed similar, Vestas has made profit during this pandemic. On the contrary, the company has seen internal control problems in India, which resulted in its CFO being fired. This issue, in my opinion, has been underlooked at. For instance, if this happened in India, why cannot it happen somewhere else? My closing thoughts going into 2021 is that unless the EVEX 35 plunges a third time due to the ongoing pandemic and the investors decide to allocate more money into Siemens Gamesa now that the hedge stock list has reduced to two, I don't see Siemens Gamesa performing well. Those were my thoughts, but what are yours? Please comment in the section below, it will be interesting to hear your opinions. If you like this content, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my next video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.